Hey everybody, so today I'm looking at Palantir as well as getting through, getting over with this hurricane, Hurricane Milton. I don't know, it hit Florida and it kind of wrecked a lot of places, like a lot of my screens and then um, a lot of, we had some damage just to, just, just like palm prawns and stuff like that, but mostly just minor, minor stuff. But we're getting through that, everybody in Florida. So yeah, today I want to talk about Palantir as well along with this crazy hurricane. But yeah, I decided to mix it up, uh, do two different accounts I got going on. So I'm doing like uh, like double uh, DCA going with, you know, which one with interactive and then I have one with M1. So I'm just dollar cost averaging. Uh, now just on a daily basis, trying to build up my position I think it's going to be a winner for all of us how it's going to it's going to keep going up i think so um yeah base around here but uh, last time i checked it was at 43. um yeah so we'll we'll see i think it's gonna i don't know i i hope it doesn't like run up super fast and then while i'm dcaing but i just want to want it to be uh, at a steady pace which i think it will i think it's um I don't want to buy into the hype. Everybody's just buying just the sake of buying. Just um, I want it to have some purpose. I don't want it to skyrocket up. And that's not going to be, that's not my plan for it to run up crazy and then keep buying at the high. So I want to get a, a low price, but just average, average my way in, which I think I will um, just continue DCAing. And I, I, I did see it like spike up to this 43 and you, yeah, there's some, you have this inclination, this kind of this want to tr throw everything all at once, but I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just trying to keep my average cost down, which I have, it's right now it's at like, I know my, one of my accounts, it's like $17, my averages. So I just want to keep building it up, trying to get like 250, 250 and, each account and then make it like even 500 if I can um, I don't know what your how much funds you guys have or stuff like that but yeah that's my game plan right now just to I think the magic number for me is 500 try to get 500 shares and yeah just try to enjoy the day here clean up as much as I can and yeah we were lucky here I know a lot of people in on the west coast weren't having seen them. but there's I know there's a ton of flooding and ton of damage but but yeah cleaning up here today and I did, did that before yesterday I've been this week up I've, I've been trying to switch it up um, just trying to do with my m1 just daily buys um, with into pounds here which is kind of a pain because you always gotta you gotta set them up every day but there's probably some way maybe you can do it automatically i gotta look into that more but i know interactive brokers let you do it on a daily basis uh you can just set it and forget it i don't know about the other brokers but that's what i really like about an interactive brokers you can just put it on just recurring buys and it'll do that automatically through your interact interact brokers account which i love so you don't have to worry in and they, if you run out of funds or anything like that, it just kicks it off so it doesn't um, notifies you and then you can just go back there and add more funds. It doesn't really harm anything. Um, it just stops your automatic investing and then you can add more funds and restart it back up. But Interactive Brokers, I mean, um, that's good. Yeah, but the M1, I, you kind of have to buy it manually. I don't know. Maybe there's some way to do it automatically. I have to look further into that. I just started. Uh, this week doing that and I was just kind of undecided if I was going to go that direction but I'm going to go that direction so but yeah it's it's hovering right now it's around 43 bucks 44 and it broke the highs from the past the last time it went up to $40 so I have no there's no chance it, it retracing itself back to repeating I've never seen that happen before I think it's gonna have it's gonna have that Nvidia moment one of these days soon 
but I'm just trying to get my shares before it happens and before it runs up like crazy. So I don't want to, so I'm trying my best to build up my account and I don't want to get carried away either into just buying just for the sake of buying and FOMO in to these hypes, uh, these highs right here. And I'm more so, I just, I believe in the company a long-term picture and I think it's how Tesla was you kind of got carried away I got carried away people get carried away in the, in the beginning pages like in 2015 and 13 17 and then you don't stay in for the long term you, you maybe trade you get that little you know make that 30 grand or, or whatever and then you bail out and it's, it, you, you miss the true runs which I think that's that's really what I'm, I'm waiting for when it truly runs past that NVIDIA moment and yeah that's what I think I'm waiting for it DCA in and waiting for that moment to happen so I have all my shares ready to go and then when it does go crazy higher I'm positioned already at a low price low average price or who knows to make those millions because I think before even before like when you had Tesla the magic number is kind of like 500 shares you could have and if it's split like a couple times and keep running have a great company you could have like 2 million easy just by the amount of splits and just the sheer just the math involved at all that's that's what I've I've seen that that magic number is around 500 for me anyways for my the past experience in seeing um yeah so today I'm really not much watching much of the market I'm just just trying to after I'm done with this I'm just gonna go clean up here clean up some of these palm fronds and, and all the other stuff. I don't have as many trees as I had before with the other hurricanes we, we've had. I've seen cases where like it's barreling down a uh, five, category five hurricane and then slam to the keys and we get lucky. I'm on the east coast of Florida. So, you know, I've seen Andrew and I've seen uh, Wilma and there's other ones like that. Um, but this one, I was kind of worried about it, it turning into a Charlie, kind of take that um, uh, that right hook. Yeah, right, I think it's right. <laughs> um, and then barrel into, uh, go into Naples and hit us here on the East Coast more. But it didn't do that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it hit Sarasota. And I love that place as far as like, this kind of my first road trip I went to Sarasota. Bradenton and all that. I love that area and Orlando and all that. Tampa. So I feel for you guys that are going through that right now. Um, it seems like you guys got sort of got hit almost like how we got hit with Wilma. It was like a category three. And um, we had Wilma and then we had um, after that was there's another name. I can't even think of the name. Charlie maybe or yeah. I, it was right after Back to back, there was Wilma, and then there was another storm. And I can't think of off the top of my head, it's been so long. But, oh, it was, yeah, I think it was Gene first, then Wilma. The Gene, I thought Gene was more powerful with the winds, but but Wilma lasts the longest, so it was a bigger storm. But yeah, today I'm cleaning up, but let's keep an eye on pounds here, here at 43 bucks and it did kind of jump a little bit too much more than I wanted. So right now I'm just kind of going back and looking at my DCA and just dollar cost averaging, just doing whatever, how much I'm just doing it daily. Cause I, I think too much if I, I was setting it out monthly and then I'm like, man, this, this is too long of a time to, I want my average to be more average, kind of more smoothed out. And when you do it, monthly you really don't get that so that's why I'm just doing it daily just have the money in the account 
and just DCA. It's mine's not even a lot. It's like my interactive brokers, honestly. It's like it, I'm doing like 10 a day there, and then my M1, I'm, I'm doing 25 a day. It's because I'm just trying to catch up with my M1 because I barely have any shares. I'm building on my pounds here, there, so I'm just. I'm I'm kind of doing double what I'm doing at my M1 and I already have a good nice amount of shares but I'm I still not happy I want to get to that $500 I mean 500 share level and then down the road I'm set as far as like to catch that momentum of the company that when it really takes off really have that low price and you're good to go. I'm not trading anything like that with Palantir. I'm just holding it for the long run. So if you're a trader or anything like that, I don't, I don't think Palantir is for you. I think it's that NVIDIA and that Tesla moment that you want to go after. That's Palantir. You got to see it for what it is. And you got to study, research the company, look at the AI part of it. There's some tons of stuff I don't understand. That's why I think if people are sluggish on really trying to understand this company because they don't understand the company so they don't understand ai and there's there's so many things that palantir does they're they're getting into so many businesses ai businesses and the microsoft and the google that they can't even touch yet i know microsoft is using a lot of the palantir but this is just my video and hope everybody recovers from the hurricane i'm gonna go do some cleanup and it's a nice day right now in the 70s, so that's no humidity or anything like that, so it's a perfect time. But yeah, if you like this video, hit like, subscribe. Really awesome. Thank you for all the followers that recently subscribed. Um, glad to have you on board. And let's let's make some money in pounds here. Let's let's make those millions. Let's set us up for that that moment. But yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, stay safe, and I'll see you guys later.